So dogging is getting rid of those shitty arses right there. So that's what I'm going to do for shearing. It always helps the shearer and me in sorting fleeces if I do the dagging. So I'm going to dag the worst of these sheep. I can't do them all in the same day. I'm getting too old for that kind of a thing. So I'm going to dag the worst cases. I might get through all these yews. I still have all the hoggets to get through. So we'll see what happens. Okay. To. The grass is too lovely. It's so delicious. It's got all kinds of different herbs in it. There's clover. There's, um, oh, puppy. Yes, you want to see as well, don't you? Yes. Well, there's all kinds of yarrow and shepherd's purse, dandelions, daisies, different grasses, sweet timothy rye, Yorkshire fog, all kinds of different grasses and they're enjoying it too much. So I have to do the temptation. Run! Woo! Run! Woo! Run! chewing your cud when you started the run and swallowed it wrong. I still, they're, they're still not convinced. Come on, ladies! Some lambs acting the maggot. A little flock of bold lambs not following their mothers. Up oh, and look, a few years still out. In the shade. So I didn't have the whole flock, just a larger percentage of it. One! This year has got her triplets still with her and she's doing really, she's doing them really, really well. They are fantastic lot of triplets. That's not bad for a set of triplets at all. She's doing a smashing job, aren't you, Bathsheba? Come on. I mean Bizu. You're Bizu, not Bathsheba. One. Go on. Okay, enough, in cut. Good girl. Uh, 
Inca, 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 wait. No more. Wait. Wait, 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 no, wait. Good girl. Everybody's in. There we go. Come on, ladies. Come on. Who? What? Who? What? You're not going up the orchard laneway, ladies. Come on. Wrong way, other gate, other direction. Come on. One, shoo! Aggie, come on. Shift it, ladies. Come on. Woo! There we go. Come on, ladies. Whoop, 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 whoop. Good girl, Inca. Uh, 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 uh. No, you don't. Aggie, no, you don't. Go on. Good girl, Inca. Now. Big fella, you don't like this, do you? Go on. That a girl, Inca. Keep him going. Good girl. Go on. Come on. Okay. bums, or some of them anyway. So dagging's in process. You can see some naked bottoms that uh, some of them are a bit scraggy. Oh, there. She didn't like me pull that bit off. See, some naked bottoms. And then there's some like this lady here who I've not done. So push her slowly in this direction. she'll go into the little yard I have. There we go. There. She's in. Now I just have to catch her and put a head collar on her. This is the head collar. Uh, it's kind of a, a slip knot over their head and then I tie them facing the other way, the far end, and then I shear, will shear her bottom. So her lamb is here, that's her lamb right there. So he can come up or, yeah, he can come up and have a conversation with her if she wants, you see, there we go. So they'll both be calm. And then, um, so she's tied up there. And then I will get to work on her shitty back end. I'm gonna put the camera down on the ground 
and um, hopefully this will work and you'll be able to see me do a tiny bit of dagging. Let's see. There we go. Let's see. That works. Oil the shears first. Nice and oiled. So it will open up right up here above the tail and shear downwards. This is easier on my back than turning the sheep over and leaning over the sheep like this and shearing it. You're a very shitty girl. Yeah, you move over now. That way. There's no point in videoing that because you'll be just looking at me arse. Now, there is a clean dagged sheep. She's, oh, well, I can do a little bit of cleaning up there. That's a bit that I missed there. I'll get that. But basically, her arse is clean. It's a pretty shitty job. You can see my hands. I cut myself there. But um, that's... Uh, 
That there is a dag yo. I'm going to take off that little bit of excess that I missed. Because they're dark and in, the, in this particular light, you sometimes miss bits. So I missed a bit there, obviously. Anyway, we're get, I'm getting through them slowly but surely. There's more and more um, naked bottoms. That bottom needs doing there. Willow, her bottom's been done. That bottom's done. That bottom's done. And that bottom's done. Well, I've done a good few. But many more to go. And I gotta let this lady go. Everyone's been dagged. Oh, Inca. They're gonna be very obedient. They've all got naked bottoms. Yeah, how are you, little bit? You have a naked bottom too. So they all have naked bottoms. I'm gonna turn them back out into this field, this top field. This way you can see how good their udders are and what a milky sheep they are with their naked bottoms. Now, whoo! I think I did it just in time before the rain as well. Come on, ladies! Come on! Woo! Come on! Bizu, come on. She's very good. She has three very good, healthy lambs she's raised. One more, Inca. Come on, Bizu. Go on. Okay, they're all in with their naked bottoms. Just before the rain, it's much easier to shear, or really, one should only really shear when the fleece is dry, whether you're dagging or not. So they've all got clean bottoms. And hopefully this will prevent fly strike and nasty things like that, if anything occurs before shearing. Because I'm not sure when I'll be able to get the guy to shear the sheep. I usually shear in May at some stage, sometimes as early as now, but uh, this year, for obvious reasons, we won't be. But I figured if I dag them, it uh, will help keep fly strike at bay. So that's the end of those shitty bottoms. The hoggets I'll have to do next, but with the rain coming, that won't happen till potentially tomorrow or the next day. While I've been dagging, Spats has been curled up here in the straw. He's now slightly embarrassed because he's been caught out. He's saying, oh, I'm invisible. Mummy, don't look at me. I'm snoozing. Oh, yeah, such a sweet puppers. Yeah, on my stinky, shitty hands. You probably love that, though, as dogs do. Anyway, I was going to show you this is the dagging. This is the shitty wool. And this shitty wool is really, really excellent for mulching in and around under young trees because you have the um, carbon fiber of the fleece, which is like bone meal, uh, or some people do fish and bone meal. Are you helping? You're very helpful. So this is like the uh, bone meal in fish, uh, uh, sorry, this is like the stuff that would be in fish and bone meal in that it is a carbon which is very digestible with the soil and with the combination of the fatty, sorry, the fatty bits. These would be the soil's food fatty bits, as in the really, really delicious stuff is the manure. So the combination of the two are great to mulch around young trees because they suppress the weeds to give the young tree a chance to grow as well as fertilize it and everything. Really? Really? I'm trying to talk here. You guys just want to play, I know. Anyway, that's what I use my uh, daggings for. I save them, let them dry out here, 
and then I put them around young trees for weed suppressor and as food for the young tree.